Joining me now, Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz. Senator Cruz, thanks for joining us. Uh, your, your thoughts on, on just where are we right now with, the, with respect to, to where stimulus is? Wall Street and the stock market holding out hope that something happens. Well, listen, I'd like to see Congress move on, on common sense relief legislation, but I think as you just heard a moment ago, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer don't want anything to move ahead, and they have consistently been blocking uh, any compromise. Twice Senate Democrats have filibustered uh, relief legislation for small businesses, for families that are hurting. Uh, and I think Pelosi and Schumer have made the, the really cynical political judgment that maximizing economic pain benefits them politically, that, that if millions of Americans are home alone, unemployed, broke, and pissed off, that they think that benefits Joe Biden. And, and so I, I think between now and Election Day, Pelosi and Schumer aren't going to let anything move to give people the relief they need. In the meantime, it feels like President Trump might have put them in check, though, to a degree, because everything that they said they wanted, including Nancy Pelosi, asking airline executives not to furlough anyone, he said, then let's do it that way. Let's specifically focus on small businesses, airlines, and the $1,200 that you say you want. How do you not want something that you've already told the public you want? Yeah. Now, look, Charles, you're right. I, I spoke with President Trump this morning, and I think he is frustrated with Pelosi and Schumer be, because they're playing games. They're, they're blocking everything. And then, frankly, they're counting on the media to blame it on the president. Um, I think the president is eager uh, to move forward and pass something and to do it right now. But, but I think Senate Democrats and House Democrats you take the airlines. Uh, I mean, there are tens of thousands of people who've lost their jobs. I've spoken with just about every airline CEO in the past several weeks, and what I've told them is, listen, Pelosi, Schumer, the Democrats, they view that as a plus. They want people getting pink slips from, from their employers yeah. in, in the weeks before the election because they think it'll make them angry and, and vote for Joe Biden. And so it really is, it's cynical, the games they're playing, and it's not right. Speaking of uh, cynical, cynical uh, games, uh, the hearing for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett will start next week on, on the Senate Judiciary Committee. You'll be obviously in the middle of all of that. Poll after poll, the Supreme Court ranks very high as something that voters are thinking about. Uh, again, uh, I think the timing is amazing. What are your thoughts on expanding the Supreme Court, the number of justices? What does that do for the integrity uh, of the, the court itself and even even our country? So, Charles, I think packing the court would be incredibly damaging. It was striking last night in the debate. I think Vice President Pence did a terrific job. And, and four times he tried to nail Kamala Harris down on whether or not she and Joe Biden support packing the court. And, and four times she just refused to answer like Joe Biden did last week. And, and I think the reason yeah. is that they and their party, they want to pack the court. They want to fill it with political cronies. That would destroy the independence of the court. And it really is a radical vision. But, you know, I also took, took encouragement. The fact that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are running away from their extreme agenda, they're not defending it in, in the debates. It shows just how unpopular that is with the American people. We want right. constitutionalists who right. will protect our speech, who will protect our religious liberty. And, and, and that's why the confirmation of Judge Barrett is so important right now. I've got less than a minute, but before you go, I, I'd like to ask you about your, your Twitter beef with Mark Cuban over your comments about the NBA and these really abysmal ratings that they've uh, had to endure. Tell us about that, please. Well, listen, I love basketball. I'm a diehard Houston Rockets fan, and, it, and it's been painful to see the NBA just lighting their business on fire by insulting and lecturing their fans. Uh, sports ought to be about having fun and not about this left-wing woke lecture and, and Mark Cuban gets very upset when, it, when anyone points, points that out, but they're seeing their ratings drop in half because people want to enjoy sports and, and not listen to, to demagoguery. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, I want to see more sports and I want to see less three-pointers. Bring back the dunk. That's what I want to see, Senator Cruz. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations on the book. I know it's going to be a bestseller. Folks, we'll be right back.